I also watched Jessica Jones on Netflix. Again, five out of five stars. It is modern film noir with a superhero twist and it is gorgeous. Netflix really hit it out of the ballpark with that one. I thought David Tennant overacts as Kilgrave, but it is perfect because Kilgrave isn't exactly um, sane. I mean, he changed his name to Kilgrave if that is any, like, duh. Not exactly sane. So I really liked that David Tennant, who tends to be an overactor, and it was great. They didn't even introduce him until like the third episode. So the first two episodes, you just see like Jessica having flashbacks and stuff, and you're like, what? And then you meet Kilgrave. All of the characters are so flawed and three dimensional. Like, Jessica deals with alcoholism. Her best friend had been an addict in the past. They're dealing with grief in different ways. I just. I really liked that they were all so flawed and none of the women characters were just there to be a romantic interest. They were all strong and they all were like their own person and they contributed to the show. They weren't just like, oh, look at me, I'm so pretty. Look at me, I'm so pretty. My lipstick looks great. I'm a uh, hair flip. Like so many shows, they just have, they clearly just have the woman to be there to be eye candy. And I really liked that this wasn't, but really a film noir is the, best way to put it. I mean, I love everything Kristen Ritter does to begin with. Like the Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23. She had um, Briefly in Veronica Mars. She was in um, Breaking Bad. I just always love everything she does. And I can't say that for very many actresses. I'm not really a fan of actors or actresses. I'm fans like of the movies or whatever, but I just, I love Kristen Ritter. She is great. The chemistry between the actors were really not forced and I love to see that organicness in movies. And I really liked that it really built, slowly builds up the tension and the expectations for Kilgrave before showing him as this deeply flawed. I also liked that he wasn't like, you always hear about people with mind control just taking over the world and that's what they want to do and he was really like just going on his own life and using his mind control to get the things he wants like I want pizza get me some pizza or whatever like he wasn't trying to take over the world and I thought that was very human I guess and the last two things I'm gonna say about it is I really like that you can tell that like the characters weren't formally trained Kristen or Jessica Jones and Luke were just trained from life basically and so many shows and movies especially with superheroes the fat fight scenes are just so perfectly choreographed that it's more like a dance than a fight and I really liked that they were just like like <laughs> I don't know how to describe it but just like I feel like that's how it would closer to how it would happen in real life because they weren't formally trained and the last thing is, the last thing is I really like that it touches on dark subjects like rape and addiction. It, again, in a very human way, it doesn't glorify it or demonize it. It just shows it like as it is and then it shows the effects of what happened without being like, if you do drugs once you're gonna die or you know, all sex is a beautiful thing, rape does not exist kind of way like so many things do. They like things to be black and white and this wasn't black and white. 